Welcome to the Becker County Master Gardeners Rambling Rose. My name is Linda Prine and today we're going to talk about winter squash. I have very, a lot of uh, kinds of uh, squash here today. First off, I just want to talk about squash and how you know when it's ripe. Uh, squash, when it's in your garden, is a real bright green. And as it starts to mature, it starts to get a harder, get a darker color to it. And there is the thumbnail test, as I call it, or fingernail. You try to poke your fingernail into it, and it does not go in. And the, it is. It's very hard. And the tops have started to dry, so you can tell that's another sign that it is ripe. And then there's this little indicator on the bottom when it's orange and yellow on the bottom where it's been laying on the soil. That is kind of the clincher. With especially this variety, it's very easy to tell that is a ripe squash. We have many kinds of squash out here today. Um, there is the, here we have the spaghetti squash, kind of a watermelon shaped type squash. We'll talk more about that later. There is the carnival squash and the acorn squash, a couple other varieties, make really good soup. Then we have Hubbard squash. Hubbard squash in the day when I was growing up, um, they were gigantic. They were the most biggest squash you ever saw. And they've come up with smaller varieties, much easier to grow in a home garden and for a family to eat. Nice squash, can be used for um, even pumpkin pie. Then we have Turk's turban. Turk's turban are an ornamental squash, plus it also can be eaten as a squash. A lot of times people will cut the tops off, clean out the inside, and they're used as bowls, and they, they serve them as soup. Really pretty, very pretty squash, very nutritious. And over here, we have butternut. Butternut means that the, the seed is all in the bottom of the squash. So it's kind of long, the seed is in the bottom, kind of a vase shape, um, really good squash. Another one made a lot of people use for soup. And then we have the butternut, sorry, buttercup. Different, couple different varieties here. We have the ones that actually have the cup. This is like the older fashioned variety. We can kind of see that that is the cup of the bottom of the squash. Then there's some that also have a real flat bottom. Just another, another way of, of um, how the squash is. A couple of different varieties, taste the same, just genetics and breeding. They ch keep changing things up on you. Now we're going to look at what the insides of these squash look like, like and you can see how much fruit, meat, that you get out of them. This is the acorn squash. We've cut one open so you can kind of see what it looks like inside. A lot of meat in there. You scrape out the, the seeds and you can bake them or you can cut the rinds off and cut them up and, and um, boil them, do whatever most people bake them. This is a spaghetti squash, very popular. A lot of people um, trying to watch calories, um, use it like as a pasta. You dig out the seeds and put it upside down on a plate, put it in the microwave, punch a few holes in it with a fork, and 15, 20 minutes you have some nice stringy squash that looks a lot like spaghetti and very, very good. Then we have the butternut, and as you can see, a lot of flesh, a lot of meat in the top part, just a little bit of seeds in the bottom. Tastes very similar to sweet potatoes, and they wear, weigh anywhere between two to five pounds. A bell shape or a vase shape is how you remember that. Then we have buttercup. We had talked about this earlier. They have different kinds of bottoms, different varieties. This one you can see has more of the cup. This one is a flat bottom, a, a button they call it. And um, maybe not as much meat in the bottom part here as this one would have. Still very good. My grandma used to um, make, she'd call it pumpkin pie, but actually it was squash pie. Makes very good pie, very, very tasty. The Turk's turban, another kind of squash. This is the one where I mentioned they cut off the tops a lot of times, clean it out and use it as a serving bowl. And um, very popular for decorating and for centerpieces. And then the Hubbard squash. 
a lot of that um, people use for pumpkins. Really, really bright orange, very, very flavorful. So squash could be baked, boiled, or roasted. Some have the thicker skin, so it is intimidating how to cut them open, so be careful with that butcher knife. And um, when I put them in the microwave, I a lot of times just put like a saran wrap or a plastic over the top and um, make sure you have, pu have punched a few holes, poked a few holes in the skin just so it won't explode on you. But it um, cooks very, very nicely. And squash is excellent source of vitamin A, B, and C and potassium, minerals, fats, no fats. If you like any more information on squash or any other kind of gardening questions, call the Becker County Extension Office at 846-7328. Thanks and have a wonderful day.